Well, our next guest was one of the founding members of the Bank of England's po Monetary Policy Committee back in 1997. He recently joined Citigroup in London as chief economist. Let's ask Willem Bouter what he's expecting from the central bank today. Thank you for coming in. Willem, in terms of we're, we're expecting them to actually say they will finish this 200 billion bond asset purchase program, but is there a need to extend it at this point? Well, I think they will probably make an announcement that they expect this to be, you know, the full size of the envelope, but I'm sure that they will not make a commitment not to increase it in the future should circumstances change. If the economy you know, disappoints in the months and quarters to come, I think they will stand ready to act. So, but I think their intention will be to signal an exit from uh, quantitative easing, at least you know, to reduce the scope. Now, yes. we're also hearing just from David that there's a risk uh, that Mervyn King now gets becomes a football, a political football in the election year between the, the Conservatives and the Labour Party. Do you see this as a risk? No, I don't think that's an issue at all. Uh, Mervyn King has a very clear mandate, right? It is price stability and financial stability. And you now he will do uh, whatever needs to be done, and the MPC will do whatever needs to be done to meet that mandate. And the election should just uh, consider you know, to be as irrelevant as the outcome of uh, you know, the FA Cup fourth round. Now, we have started the electioneering. Both parties have mm -hmm. uh, started to put out their policy. Yes. Nothing really concrete on fiscal policy. Does that concern you regarding the economy? Well, it is, I think, disappointing that um, we haven't got hard numbers and um, you know, hard plans for for cuts uh, especially uh, and uh, even for tax increases except a few from uh, the current government uh, for the next few years we need to give the market some guidance that the governments are serious that they will you know bring the deficit down from its 12 and a half whatever uh, level currently to uh, you know something sustainable probably below three percent in a period of three to four years and unless we have the numbers unless we have the taxes named and uh, concrete uh, all talk is cheap and um, uh, the markets will not be impressed does it also make it more difficult for the bank of england to actually have some reliable forecasts on which they no, can base uh, themselves absolutely on? the right market policy is contingent on what is being done in the fiscal field if there's a lot of fiscal tightening uh, right, the bank can be more relaxed in its interest rate strategy. If there is little fiscal tightening, the bank will have to be tighter. So the bank is trying to guess at the future fiscal stance as much as the rest of us, yes. Uh, Wilma, I also want to touch on the Bank of International Settlements because central bankers uh, are having a special meeting mm -hmm. with private banks in saying that actually there uh, might be some excessive risk taking coming on the markets again. Are you concerned about this? No, I'm not at this stage worried about uh, excessive risk taking. In fact, I'm more worried about you know, too little uh, risk taking in the form of uh, lending to the real economy, households and non-financial enterprises by banks, especially uh, banks in, uh, in continental Europe where you know, capital adequacy issues are still uh, of major concern. But all over the world, banks are you know, building up capital, you know, substituting uh, government assets, not the liquid assets, for riskier investment and still deleveraging. And that is not an environment you know, uh, conducive to excessive risk taking, but it is unfortunately one conducive to excessive risk aversion. You may well be in a situation that uh, too much caution will be applied in the wrong quarters by the banks. So you're satisfied with the current regulation? No, I'm not satisfied with the current regulation. I'm, I'm said the current behavior of the banks is probably on anything too cautious. I think we need new internationally coherent mm -hmm. regulation and uh, a predictable uh, a set of regulation. At the moment, nobody knows really what the future face of international regulation is going to look like. And uh, so that kind of uncertainty doesn't help business either. Willem, great to speak to you as always. Thank you Pleasure. so much, Willem Bouter there.